I mean, Nigerians will use you. Nigerians will, will rather see you suffer. Nigerians are full of envy. Nigerians are jealous. Hey, lovelies. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Yes, guys. In today's video, I have a very interesting video. I want every one of you to see, especially those of us from Africa that are based here in the diaspora so we believe or we've been hearing a lot of people saying that oh if you meet a nigerian you meet an african it's not good to help because at the end of the day the help you are trying to render will come back and work against you so this our lovely sister is just narrating her experience that she had with a fellow nigerian in the diaspora as well as for me i want to say something here before i let you guys see the video for me i will say that the first job i had here in the uk when i first came in the two people that put me through that job were nigerians a nigerian man and a nigerian lady so with for me i would say my experience with nigerians have been very very good even apart from the job aspect working aspect talking about relationship wise neighbor um friends in church and all that you know parents of my children's friends even at school some of them are nigerians and i've really had you know good relationship with them I've not really come across all this backbiting and all that that people are talking about. So I can't really testify, you know, about that bad part of Nigerians that are here in the UK or in Canada doing this or that. For me, I've really had good experience with them. So I'm still looking forward to work with my fellow Nigerians to be friends with them. You know, I don't know. The Nigerians were talking about is you and I. I am a Nigerian. You are a Nigerian. Even if you have a British passport, an American passport, whatever passport you are holding, you are still a Nigerian. So it is you and I that are the Nigerians they are talking about. So charity, they say, begins at home. So if you are good to your fellow Nigerian, your fellow Nigerian will also be good to you. You are complaining that, oh, Nigerians are not good, Nigerians are not good, and um, your fellow Nigerian is complaining that Nigerians are not good. So who are the Nigerians? The Nigerians are you and I. Anyways, I don't want to talk too much, but we can do better. Like I said, I've had good experience, good times with my fellow Nigerians, and I'm still having good relationship with them here in the UK. I don't know about you. Just let me know what you think. On the comment section let's hear from you your own experience anyways let's hear from our sister but before then if you are meeting me for the first time you are welcome to my channel my name is joan ekeke i'm based here in united kingdom england to be precise where i talk about life realities of africans nigerians that are based here in the uk and in the diaspora at large that is what i do on those very channel that's why i created this platform so if you are yet to subscribe to my channel it's on the subscribe button and for my returning subscribers you know i love you so much i can't continue or start this video without appreciating you guys for your huge support on this very platform click on the like button of this very video with that being said let's hear from our sister thank you ever help one another because nigerians are yada 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 whatever reason they give and i can say that nigerians are a special breed of people especially in canada i have met different type of nigerians and i can say that it's quite dicey to help a nigerian i mean nigerians will use you nigerians will will rather see you suffer nigerians are full of envy nigerians are jealous let me tell you one story there is this time I put uh, my company on the internet that I work with so 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 company, right? I put it there and I left it on purpose. It's still on my page that I still work with that company. And if you know me, you know that I, I, I talk about corporate Canada a lot and a lot of things that I've seen working in corporate Canada. So one Nigerian lady that works in the same company she happened to go through my page and found out that i work in the same company as she does reached out to me and pretended that she wanted to uh go on a coffee day with me see me thinking innocently 
or for a girl to reach out to you to go on a coffee date that's good that's a a mature way and a classy way to make friends and i noticed that this girl was very particular about the branch i work the team i work with the uh, particular section I work with, the particular department I work with. I mean, that was the only thing she kept asking that, where am I working? Where is my office? Where is my branch? Which team am I working with? And I'm like, okay. And I was answering innocently. I gave her all the information that could pinpoint, because it's a big company that could pinpoint me to a particular location and the particular office and the particular department I'm working with and she left and this person that was telling me about coffee date never said anything that would foster the coffee date but she kept on insisting on knowing where i work and all that yada yada information after a few days she came again this time we exchanged our contact already she came on whatsapp and started asking me questions and this person is the smart i thought i was smart you would never know where she was gearing at she, she she started conversation that would lead to her getting my name she was like oh what's your name on team i was your full name on team so i can message you on team directly she wanted to know my name she has gotten the office the location the department probably my team head and to know my name little did she know that i was no longer working with this company so i think she got confused she looked me up everywhere she couldn't find me and she thought that okay maybe i go by another name she wanted to know the name i registered with that company go, 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 go. why so that she can put me into trouble so that she can report me nigerians are that jealous that was her aim that was her sole aim she was never interested in any coffee day she was never interested in making any friendship she just wanted to make sure that i do not spend another day in that company why i didn't know this person from madam she was not the only one she was not the only one i have gotten messages from nigerian on linkedin asking me eh, am i still working in this company uh that they didn't expect me to last long in this company and these are people people that i don't know i've never i've never done anything to I've never had any interaction or altercation issues with. And somebody just wakes up and says, I must make sure that you don't have this food on your table again. For no reason, that is Nigerians for you. And I was talking about corporate Canada. I was talking about Canadians. None of the Canadians whites were interested. It was a Nigerian from nowhere. So I was livid because I became scared of the internet. Please hold your ear. I like saying hold your ear because you guys are stubborn. Do not ever, no matter how big of a content creator you are, do not ever reveal anything about you. Anything that makes you happy, that gives you money, that brings food on your table, your wins, your success. You can reveal anything, or but make sure that you reveal the only thing that you think you want people to know. And those things, they can never use it to get back at you because Nigerians are amazing people. I've had a situation whereby someone was coming to Canada and I said, please, can you help me bring a wig? A wig that is not up to one kg from Canada. This person ghosted me. And I have been helping this person know, answering this person's question about coming to Canada. I don't answer DMs like that if you don't book a chat. But this person, because they have been very active on my page, I always answer her. Finally, she got her visa. Finally, she's about to travel. She told me she's coming. And I said, please, can you help me bring a week? Just something you phone inside your bag. This guy, this girl ghosted me. To my greatest shock, this girl messaged me a few weeks later. Later. <laughs> few weeks later when she arrived canada that she's in canada that she's looking for accommodation or that she's looking for a job or that i should help her i'm like oh really you're in canada welcome what happened you told me you get back to me regarding travel she was like eh. i was like eh. that's how she ran away it's just that city for me somebody that i've been helping all through her journey wig no rich one kg she still came back Start telling me to help out with job and accommodation. Why will I help that person? Why will I? And tomorrow, the person will go to the internet and start saying Nigerians will never help each other. But you're the architect of your world. Is it when I was doing free consultation? 
when I just came, I was AJC. I was pouring out my time to answer people, to help people. There are some people I helped from their beginning stage of applying for visa to when they get it. And where are these people? Nowhere. Even common thank you, I do not get. Nowhere. These are Nigerians for you. Some people will come and lie to me and say, eh, they want me to help them with visa. They, 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 they use lie to milk information from me and run away. Nigerians will use you. They will lie and pretend that they want to actually book my services. And I'll be trusting, helping, taking their calls. When they get everything they want, they ghost you. These are Nigerians. And that is why I stopped answering anybody. If you want me to dedicate my time to you, you're going to pay for it. Because if not, when Nigerians see, see, and this person will come to you, get all the information, go and pay a, 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 an agent millions of money with the information you give them with your time. I had two jobs, but I was making out time to answer everybody. And they will come, take those information, go to an agent, give agents money. Nigerians. And I stopped. So we are the architect of our world. But what does that mean? That doesn't mean you should stop helping. Because most times when you do things for people, do not expect appreciation. Do not expect, do things, the highest form of giving is to give to somebody that doesn't have the capacity and capability to give you back. Because if you expect appreciation from Nigerians, if you expect anything good coming back to you from Nigerians, you're going to expect for a long time. You're going to be dis disappointed. So you shouldn't be, because of the fact that Nigerians have disappointed you, lock up. If you can, if you can, help, oh, because <laughs> help, oh, that's what I'm saying.